You were credited with the sack on your brother in that game. Has that come up since? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've been talking about it. Uh, I kind of like talked smack to him about it before the game, and then I got it. That was like, I used to joke around growing up and be like, that was my, like, if I had one goal I was going to do, like have in football, it was be sack my brother. What was, so, what was that entire experience, the whole game day, you know, meeting up with them um, on the field after the game? What was that experience like for you? Well, I mean, I try not to think about it. Like, I don't want to put my personal goals first. So I was trying not to think about it, but it's like, you can't really not think about it. Like, I'm on the field and I'm seeing a warm up. I'm just thinking, like, I'm about to play my brother. I don't think I've ever been that excited to play a game. What was that moment like at, at the end of the game when you guys you know, were able to, to meet up after the game and probably could put the, the, you know, preparing for the game behind you and just kind of focus on that moment? Yeah, um, we were talking a little bit uh, like in the beginning of the week and then I was just juggling like, all right, stop texting me. I don't want to talk to you no more. I'll see you on the game day. And then uh, he texted me like right before the game. He just said he, he wanted uh, just to pray after. And you know, that was just stuff like that. It kind of just shows me like what kind of person my brother is and just helps me to look up to him. What's been that experience like this whole year? Because he's come to games, he's been in the mm -hmm. stands. Yeah. Just watching you play, just how unique has it been for you, just your personal development as a first year college player? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's super dope. Um, I mean, he's been a mentor for me, like just just in my, my uh, recruiting process and just me as a person. But um, it was never planned for him to, I mean, him going into college, I always thought he was going to be out in three, first round pick, first pick. But God has a different plan sometimes. So I came here and it wasn't, in, I wasn't even in plan for him to go there, but that just uh, ended up being the best situation. Just us being here, it was, it was pretty cool just hanging out with him. You obviously played a really big role for this team this year, more than most kind of true freshman dudes. What, what has this experience been like? And did you have kind of a, a moment throughout the year where it kind of clicked and you felt like things were really working for you? Uh, uh, I mean, I, I think it's been like an honor, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, just to have the coaches believe in me enough to put me in and like in, in important roles. But I mean, I think I put a, uh, give a lot of um, credit to like the older guys in the room, like Mason and Shipley and Barron and then guys like Edie and Birch, even like just just kind of all the older guys to uh, to guide me through. As a group, you, young, younger guys, you know, Tatum, you, you Blake have yeah. gotten a lot of playing time. How, mm -hmm. How's it been, kind of? With, with those guys too, kind of learning together and, and seeing the field really early on. Man, it's been really fun just seeing, uh, it's our first year, so I mean, we don't really have anything to base it off of, but I think all of us, we just, we didn't know, like it's, that, like that's kind of rare, but that's what the older guys are telling us, like there's not a lot of times where three freshmen are gonna play. But even besides them, like uh, Jada Moore and Ashley Porter, you know, like every day in practice, they go into work too. And just seeing all of us, there's like five freshmen, like edge freshmen, and just seeing all of us uh, put in work in every day, is, uh, it's just cool to see everybody grow. This defensive scheme is kind of notoriously hard to learn for first year guys. How, yeah. how did you go about doing that so quickly? I got lucky because my, uh, shout out my high school D coordinator, Coach King, he kind of uh, takes a lot of like the Bama defense. So kind of like a lot of the, the same terminology. It was it was still a lot, trust me, it was, it was, it was still hard, but a lot of the terminology I kind of understood and could pick up fast. Is it made more difficult by the fact that you're playing multiple positions and everybody's kind of rotating, rotating across the front seven? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, if, if you're going to play and it's like three different types of ends, you're going to have to learn. So you, I never covered before, so I'd probably say that's like the hardest part for me, learning coverage and stuff. I feel like I got it down like a lot better, but it was definitely hard. What do you think you improved the most in your game this past year? Um, I'd say kind of like the mental aspect, just my game IQ, and then like kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it, like, like my mentality. Like I think in high school, like I don't know if I really gave the best effort every play. And even still, I, I like I catch myself, I need to work on it, but I think just like the, the constant, like one of our main morals on defense, we say is relentless effort. So I feel like that was kind of a big thing that, uh, help me. I know you mentioned a lot of the older guys, but was there yeah. one particular guy who was kind of a mentor to you this year? Um, I'd probably say Mace Flinner. 
what, what about him? Like, what, what, he's talked a lot about helping the younger guys. What, yeah. what is it that he does? Um, I mean, even even outside, um, even outside the facility, we, like all of us, kind of the whole front, like outside backers, backers, D line, we all we're always hanging out, even if it has nothing to do with football. So just building that connection, uh, I just felt like it kind of brought everybody close to where everybody can feels comfortable with like pointing out wrong, saying, oh, you can do this better, you can do that better. I feel like makes really help me with that. You're surrounded by a lot of really, really great players. Uh, was there a moment kind of when you maybe first came onto campus that you kind of realized that this level of college football was a little bit higher than maybe what you experienced in high school? Um, I felt like I was prepared pretty well. Uh, I expected people to be really good. You know what I'm saying? Just, just knowing it's, it's D1 football, people are really like, um, it means more to a lot more people. So I don't know if there's like a specific moment. I kind of expected it to be kind of like this, but um, there was definitely times where I'm like, man, I never like, I don't think I've gotten beaten that badly. I don't think I really got beat that badly, but, you know, <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. definitely times I'm like, man, I, I don't think I've faced a guy this good before. Yeah, the defensive front's going to have a lot of veterans to graduation after the Fiesta Bowl. Just what's this offseason going to be like for an opportunity for not just yourself, but a lot of these younger guys that you've talked about? Just what's, what's, the off, what's the importance of the offseason going to be for you guys? Uh, can you repeat that? I don't know. You're from the beginning. With so many graduating players yep. in your position group, the, the front seven, just what's mm -hmm. this offseason going to be? What's the focus going to be for you guys yeah. with replacing so much talent? Um, I think for me personally, like my goals, I think I have to be uh, to be a, like a better player. I think I can like maximize my body more, like really like dialing in on my uh, on my diet, like weight room and, and like speed stuff, kind of like physical attributes. You know, the, the mental stuff, you're always, it's always a nonstop, or kind of everything. Everything is a nonstop self improvement. Um, and as a whole, I think just, I feel like just keeping on pace, just same thing as a group, just, just being more connected, um, holding people accountable still, um, just, just working, really, putting your head down, keep working. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it.